Another day of drama in the Oscar Pistorius murder trial. The athlete came under harsh cross-examination from the lead prosecutor. At one point, the court had to be adjourned as an anguished Pistorius was shown a graphic image of his girlfriend's bloodied head. In this report from CCTV's Dan Williams, you will hear Pistorius address the judge as my lady. The athlete's voice is heard, but he is not seen in the courtroom video. When Oscar Pistorius arrived for his 19th day in court, he possibly already knew then that this was going to be his most uncomfortable session yet on the stand. He was about to be cross-examined by lead prosecutor Perry Nell. Nell, known as the Pitbull, came out swinging. You made a mistake. That's correct. You killed a person, that's what you did, isn't it? I made a mistake, my lady. You killed Riva Stiankam, that's what you did. I made a mistake, my lady. You, you're repeating it three times. What was your mistake? My mistake is that I took Reva's life, my lady. You killed her, you shot and killed her. Won't you take responsibility for that? I did, my lady. Now say it then. Say yes. I killed, I shot and killed Reva Stenga. I did, my lady. But now was just getting started. He asked whether Pistorius knew what a zombie stopper was. The athlete said he didn't. The court was then shown a video that had been broadcast on a news channel. It showed Pistorius at a shooting range, shooting a watermelon. Pistorius is then heard saying, it's a lot softer than brain, it's a zombie stopper. It's a lot softer than brain, but it's like a zombie stopper. <laughs> But that was just the beginning of a sequence. Nell shocked the court when he showed a picture of Reva Steenkamp's bloodied head. Images too graphic to show here. That's it. Have a look there, mister. I know you don't want to because you don't want to take responsibility, but it's time that you look at it. Take responsibility for what you've done, Mr. Pistorius. I've taken responsibility, but I will not look at a picture where I'm tormented by what I saw and felt that night. As I picked Reva up, my fingers touched her head. I remember. I don't have to look at a picture. I was there. Nell also questioned Pistorius on the actual shooting itself. Why didn't he wait to see who was behind the door? Did the gun go off accidentally? I didn't have time to think. I don't know if that if it was by accident, yes, and I fired by accident. I didn't intend to shoot into or I didn't intend to shoot at anyone. Nell also highlighted some of the inconsistencies between Pistorius' bail application, his plea explanation and his testimony. And when the athlete said his life was on the line, he had to think through the implications of every question. Nell replied, but Reva doesn't have a life. The trial continues. Dan Williams, CCTV, Pretoria.